Articulated tippers have a big role to play in the future of the UK mineral products industry. In the UK, they deliver about 60 million tonnes of aggregates each year. Within Semex UK alone, lorries like this one handle more than 16,000 loads in a typical month. In addition to aggregates, they handle huge volumes of other bulk products. But the safety that is so reassuring on the open road can sometimes be compromised when tipping on uneven ground. And when that happens, the outcome can be catastrophic for the lorry and potentially for the driver and anyone in the immediate vicinity. Across the industry, there have been an estimated 100 rollover incidents over the past three years. One was fatal and a number involved serious injuries. Graham Ellis is an acknowledged UK authority on lorry rollovers. He chaired an Institute of Road Transport Engineers working party which set out to tackle the issue and knows how awful they can be for a driver. I've never actually uh, been in a cab that's rolled over and I don't particularly want to, but talking to, to uh, drivers that have been involved, it's terrifying because you don't know what's happening. All of a sudden you're accelerating across your cab and then you hit something and you don't know what it is that's happened to you to get in the position that you're in. So we've looked at what happens in a rollover incident. Let's look in a bit more detail now at the causes. There may be one or more causes in a single accident. The most common is tipping on an incline or on uneven or soft ground. Instability can also arise as a result of the load sticking to the body or being on one side due to uneven loading. The weather can also be a factor, potentially causing the load to freeze and stick to the body floor. Raising the body too quickly with a substantial part of the load still inside can have the same effect. Crosswinds can be another issue. Beware also of tipping with the tractor and trailer out of line or while moving forward with the body at height. So too would failing to open the tailgate. Poor maintenance of the chassis and suspension is another potential factor that can lead to a rollover. It's very important that drivers check their vehicles and that defects such as punctures are quickly identified and repaired. The fact is that Arctic tippers become unstable and can roll over on a cross slope as slight as just five degrees and the vehicle could easily roll over. A rollover is a pretty awful experience, but it can be avoided if you follow a few straightforward rules. Loading is a key factor in rollovers, so the operator of the loading shovel has a fundamental role to play in ensuring that the vehicle is evenly loaded. This is how it should look when done properly. On bigger sites, you could be loading in a bay from a chute capable of doing the job in seconds. Here, it's the driver's responsibility to ensure that the vehicle is centrally aligned. And moving the vehicle progressively, he can then ensure an even load. You should have been briefed on how the site equipment works and the relevant safety procedures. But if you're not used to this type of loading system, don't be afraid to ask for advice. The other colleague who has a key responsibility for ensuring safe loads is the weighbridge operator. In addition to checking the weight of the vehicle, he may often have the benefit of CCTV to check loads prior to departure. He is in a position to step in and avert a possible disaster. Moving from loading to tipping. Most sites should have been risk assessed for tipping and there should be a banksman to control traffic. Establish a safe area in which to offload with an adequate exclusion zone. Ideally, it should be demarcated. The ground should be firm and level with no cross slope and well away from overhead cables. If daylight is reduced, 
it should be adequately lit. And if high winds are a concern, don't tip. If you need to manually release rear doors, you should be wearing full PPE. There is only one place for a driver during tipping, in your cab and with your seatbelt on. Seatbelts save lives in rollovers. Once you start to tip, ensure that the cab and trailer are aligned. Avoid moving forward while the load is at height. Above all, if you have the least concern about the safety of tipping, then don't do so. Have the confidence to say no. And if, despite following the advice in this film, you are involved in a rollover, brace yourself using the steering wheel and never attempt to jump clear. The good news is that technology is now available to help the driver. This little device, known as an inclinometer, continually monitors the angle of the vehicle in relation to the ground. The system includes an in-cab display unit and sensor attached to the trailer itself. It comes with or without an automatic cutoff valve, which actually stops the tip before the rollover point can be reached. These are now standard on new Semex tippers in the UK, and we can expect to see a lot more of them across the industry in the years ahead. But however useful the technology, the fundamental responsibility, of course, stays with the driver. It's important that you stop and think. It's key that we follow the rules. We know what causes rollovers. Now we can work as a team to prevent them. Uh, it's important everybody works right the way through the supply chain. The driver, the loader, the way bridge, the supervisory staff, both at our sites and also the customer sites. If you're unsure, ask advice. And if you're in any doubt, don't tip. We hope that this programme will help you to stay safe.